a winning from airway pressure release ventilation. This video will discuss the wean and stretch method. So what is a wean and stretch? I'm basically decreasing the P high while simultaneously increasing the T high at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decrease the P high only by one to two centimeters of water at a time. So I decrease this I'm also increasing the T high by 0 0.5 seconds. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to look at my P high, or sorry, my T high, which controls my P high, and I'm going to increase this by half seconds. So what this does is it's slowly lengthening out the P-high phase. And I'll constantly reevaluate the patient. So again, I'm going to decrease my P-high, approximately 2 cm water increments. And I'm going to increase my T-high setting. Now this video is a short video, so it's kind of um, showing the process at a rapid speed. So you, you know you'll be doing this within hours or maybe even days of slowly weaning based on the patient's lung mechanics, how stable they're getting everything else. And you just want to keep on, this is the weaning, the pressure. So this is considered the weaning part. When you wean the P high, it's decreasing the pressure. And the stretch is you're stretching out the T high time. So that's kind of where the terminology gets its name. The weaning of the pressure and the stretching out of the pressure also. So it's starting to look like um, CPAP. So I do this, constantly reevaluate the patient until I get around uh, 10 centimeters, of, I mean 12 centimeters of water. And when you get to a P high that is decreased to approximately 8 to 12 centimeters of water, you can consider extubation of the patient. You know, you're going to, of course, evaluate the patient, see if they make extubation criteria, if they've been on these settings for, you know, over a half an hour. It just depends on your facility's policies and procedures. So this is the wean and stretch. Uh, during this phase also, to overcome some work of breathing, you can augment spontaneous breaths by using either pressure control or automatic tubing compensation, or in this ventilator, it is called it is called um, TRC, but I can't find it here, which is tubing resistant concentration. Tubing resistant compensation, that's what they call it. And actually, it's not on this ventilator here. However, I could augment my spontaneous breaths with pressure support. And with this ventilator, I don't have pressure support either. So that's the wean and stretch. Main components are you are decreasing P high at only one to two centimeters of water at a time. And at the same time, you're increasing T high by 0 0.5 seconds with every one to two centimeter reductions. So this is where we get the terminology wean, as in weaning the P high pressure and stretch stretching out, extending my T high time. Thank you.